Hey, welcome back, another day, another vlog. Good to have you back on this Tuesday evening. It's a lovely, balmy, stinking hot day, actually. Out here at Caversham, no wind, so the sun is been down, and my back is starting to feel a bit better, thank God, because I could barely move when I got up this morning. Uh, no good, there's nothing worse than no, all you guys out there that have got, had bad backs. It is a crap thing to have. And mine was terrible. I get it every now and again, I just get it in the wrong spot and sciatica gets it, the whole works, and got to grind this and do all my usual exercises and it takes about a day and I get it back to normal. I think it's probably more so the running, not running. But anyways, so yeah, feeling a little bit better this afternoon, a little bit more mobile. Um, not too bad. <laughs> not ready to do any break dancing, but uh, I am here, so that's good. Uh, I've got a heap, oh, having said that, I've got a heap done. Uh, I, the one of the, the, uh, the first day I had to go through, I've got those photos sorted. Then my second day, I've got a, about three days worth of photos for this bushwork um, I want to chuck in together and I've got some just really super photos, I believe super photos, it'd be up to you guys to judge. So I spent a heap of time last night, so I've got one more day to sort out, which I'm going to do tonight and then, and then I can also start putting the video together for that one. So look, that's looking pretty good, um, some really wicked shots, it's going to be again, yet again, really hard to narrow down what shots to use and not use. Um, I'm going to struggle to keep under 10, so it's definitely going to be a photography style, but also there's a, I'm sure I've got a fair bit of video with the uh, wandering through the iron ore country, so I want to sort of try and show off that as well. So yeah, I'll uh, start getting it together by tomorrow's night. Uh, another day, another vlog, we'll be able to chat more about how it's sort of looking and, and what sort of avenue I'm sort of facing down. So. But yeah, some really, really wicked shots. Um, so yeah, very cool. I uh, did get some positive feedback today about from Bocca Bearing, so hopefully we'll hear back tonight from those guys. Uh, and then, fingers crossed, should, should be dropping tomorrow. Fingers crossed, just went here. Obviously they're a big company and they want to, um, they've got to show it to all the right people, so that's part of business, I guess. That's part of doing work, so. It's all good, we'll get there, no stress. Um, I did chuck a little bit of B-roll up on the Instagram, a little bit of uh, light work with a uh, bit of uh, slow-mo action for the bike today, so it was pretty cool. I, as I said, I've got a ton of stuff on it, so I've got a heaps left over that I can use for different bits and pieces. So that's, it. You, you never lose it, it's just a matter of storing it all. I think all together it was about 50, 50 gigs worth of data, I, had in the folder that I had to go and chuck it down onto my big hard drive to uh, keep, and that includes the movie that I put up, um, all the photo, or a couple of, the few photos I took, uh, all the, and then all the video stacked in and all that and bits and pieces. So it doesn't take long to uh, really smash that data out. So just for an example, so all good. Rightio, today. Uh, Actually, there's a, well, there's a few things. We'll, I think we'll get on with, um, we'll go to Motorola first, because Motorola, the Razer, the flip phone, it's come out. Um, if you haven't seen the things on YouTube already, they're already talking about the folding mechanism. I think it's CNET uh, put out a video where they had a little robot there opening and closing it mechanically. Uh, I think it was something like 50,000 times, which was roughly, to simulate a year's worth of someone opening and closing the phone. Um, now the Motorola is the old ones. Unfortunately, I was around when they were out and they were popular. They were just a fun, you fun flick. You got it down and the guys who could do it were actually by the end, once your phone was sort of worn in, and that was really a term, it was sort of, you could just, it was a, it was a flick of wrist. It wasn't even a thumb. You could just flick it like that and it'd pop open. I'm not sure if these ones are gonna be able to do that, um, I did watch Marquez MKBH today. He did a unboxing of a retail version, not a, not a test version, and he's got one there. He's gonna be running as a daily driver, and he was struggling doing a thumb over. But from my memory, with those, you could just, it was like a, 
I guess like a like a flick knife is a, that sort of movement. You you didn't have to use your thumb. You could just pop them and they just pop open. So whether this uh, mechanism isn't going to allow for that sort of action, which was that old school flick open and answer and flick it to close, I'm sure that's going to be the way forward. Just how long and how much the abuse they can take, I guess, which is going to be a tricky pit. And but if they can manage that and it's not as bad as what they're portraying. I'm sure these phones are gonna go really well. They need to at 1500 US bucks. That's well over two grand Australian. That's a lot of moolah for you just to be able to flick something. So yeah. Uh, but again, it looks great. It's got all the, ooh, that's how hot it is in the shed, sweating. Um, it's got all the good things. So I'm, I think that's actually, it's gonna be a really positive phone, especially for Motorola. It's gonna help them out a big way. Um, right, Samsung. They buddy leaked everything themselves. Uh, yesterday at the Oscars, there was apparently an ad showing the new flip phone. <laughs> the event is tomorrow for Samsung. So if you don't know, tomorrow we should have the Samsung event with the actual full release, all the specs, prices, the whole works locked and loaded. So I'll be able to give you all that tomorrow. And that's gonna be for the S20, the flip, and also don't forget the uh, buds, the Samsung buds. Now the one thing is with the buds, they also got leaked out early, um, but they have don't, don't have noise cancelling, which seems to be the big thing with the Apple Air, the AirPods Pro, the, I think it's the Sony ones that do the active noise cancelling, I think, and the Bose buds as well. So they're all sort of, the top of the range are all noise cancelling, so it'll be interesting to see what sort of take they are. They have been leaked visually, but there wasn't much specs or what they could do about them. So we'll find it all out tomorrow anyway, and that'll be, we won't have to worry about guessing. So I'll just leave it for that. But yeah, just basically Samsung just said, our oh, stuff, it, it's, the phone's out, S20's out, so we might as well just tell everyone to just save all the crap. Um, yeah, interesting, I don't know, they, and then you have a whole show to, and you're gonna announce it all. I kind of see Apple doing that because Apple thrives on that, being able to come out and show you the item. Here it is, look at that, check it out. Now give us $5,000 million and your firstborn child. But um, yeah, so very interesting that they did drop at them. Um, I'd, I'd say they were just got to the last week or two and said, oh, you know what, it's probably gonna be good to get that build up of and see how people are feeling about it before the show so we know maybe we can adjust the show to suit. I guess, and, and aim at those issues that people are talking about, which probably not a bad thing. So you never know, we'll find out tomorrow. Now, Democrats in Iowa, they had their voting or whatever. Iowa, it's like a big um, uh, preemptive look at how it's all gonna go for the 2020 elections and electronically complete stuff up. They're still trying to work it out. The guys that are running it saying there's something wrong with the algorithm. Uh, so they don't know who's going to win it. Uh, they're still trying to work it out. They've got to go manually go back and sort out votes and all that crap. Uh, so just a total disaster. Democrats need to get their shit together real quick because that is not good. They are going up against a guy who has beaten the Constitution. So you've got to give it to him. He is going to be coming for him. He's going to he's going to smash him every time they stuff up. He's going to come in and hit him where it hurts. They really need to get the shit sorted, find out who the hell's gonna be running, and uh, go. Sort of the short talk was that Mayor Buddha Hedge, Buddha Hedge? Oh shit, I've said his name wrong. My apologies, mate. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, you know, I'd, to be honest, if I lived there, I'd probably be voting for Bernie Sanders. That would be mine. I'd, he seems likable, and the things I'm sort of interested in and what I think he's, he runs for is the right thing, so that's sort of where I would go. But um, yeah, anyway, we'll find out, but they do need to sort their shit out. Uh, they've got another one coming up, which is an actual legit one, so that's gonna, they need to get it all done for that, so not far away. And last but not least, real quick one, I guess, um, just on the tech side, Road who make these awesome things, the wireless go. I love them, so glad I went to that. Um, I used to have the Micro Pro on the camera running that, and I use that now with the GoPro if I'm doing sort of B-roll stuff. It's still really good, but uh, the 
I hope you appreciate the sound that comes out of these things now. Oh, I've heard it and I know it's 10 times better. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure you'll appreciate that. But they've just come out with a new one for you guys that work at a desk or you're doing vocals or singing or musicians or you're doing gaming and stuff like that. They've got the new NT USB mini out. So it's like a little desk mounted, plug straight into your laptop computer. You can go to whatever operating system you're using and record straight to it. Uh, it's full stereo. You can plug your headphones straight into it with no latency. Uh, looks really good and 150 bucks Australian delivered. That's pretty hard to beat. Uh, looks like it comes with a little stand, comes with the muffler on the front, little magnetic stand that pops on so it's easy to come off. It'll go into the little boom thing. So like, man, they're just killing it at the moment. I, I've got to admit, I mean, you've got your Sennheiser out there, does a, a really good job and known for sound and the other guys, but they just brought out that NTG5, which is from all reports like the Ducks Nuts and just a super, super mic. Uh, probably a little bit more high end, so it's more boom pole and high end audio. I'd maybe down the track with the new house, I might have, I want to get something like that. So I don't have to plug in, so I can get some like even better sound for you and just use these for the road. Get it, road? <laughs> oh, that was terrible, dad jokes. I'm a dad now, I can say those. Um, but yeah, so like they're doing really good things and I'm happy to say they're an Australian company, so that's always good for us. Um, we, still, we can still do good things. We, uh, we know how to design stuff and create stuff. We just tend to give it away, which really sucks. And, but this company's going from strength to strength. They do some great things. They, uh, so if you are an Australian <laughs> and you're looking for some sort of sound, uh, eBay, secondhand, new, the value's there. Uh, they do a great quality item. And yes, support a local Australian. That's always, always good, I think. Um, I know the, you guys in the US are very proud about supporting their country and their things. And I think that's great. You should be proud of your country that you come from and, and support your local people that you work and play with. So that's really cool. Um, and these are one of those companies that I think deserve our support because they do the right things and they actually give back to creators and to people every year. They have the road awards where you can put videos in and win millions, a million dollars worth of prizes. There's all sorts of stuff they do. So definitely worthwhile. So check them out. Uh, yeah, I love these these things here. This wireless goes the best thing I could have ever bought. Probably just go and put a heap of noise in, but I love them. I think they're fantastic and super, super easy to use and actually make me sound sort of semi-normal, I hope. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Another day, another vlog. Hope your Tuesday wasn't too bad. It's a bit of a stinker here, those guys. I wouldn't mind some of that rain that the East Coast is getting. They're getting smashed uh, still over there, uh, just pumping them still so yeah stay dry over there and enjoy that water while you can it doesn't last uh, for whatever and we will see you all again tomorrow and i'll go through and give you a bit of a china update tomorrow we'll, i couldn't see too much on there this afternoon but i'll i'll do it probably every couple of days i don't want to really depress you too much every day but um we'll just we'll keep in touch with that one every uh, few days and work it out but um that's about it all right if you haven't subscribed down there, smash that, hit that bell, it'd be super, super much nice of you, with good as much as English, that's just terrible, that's the Darwin in me, and I will see you all tomorrow, and have a lovely Tuesday evening, it's here, I gotta go cook tacos, Taco Tuesday, sweet. All right guys, if you're not going out, you're going back to work, or well, night shift, ooh, that's not good, if you boys on your last night shift, have a good night tonight, and enjoy your R&R. &R. And if you're going to bed or getting up, we'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.